I want to share my standard approach for most diabetic tractional retinal detachments. Now, these are generalities, but this is what I like to do when I'm doing a diabetic tractional case. First of all, I can't emphasize enough the importance to have good illumination and good visualization. The Ingenuity system and a chandelier light gives me really great aspects of both. Uh, it's important to be able to see what's going on, not only where you're working, but distal to where you're working because there can be areas of traction all over the place. And so being able to have that chandelier really helps. Here we can see my first step in patients who have their mid peripheral vitreous separated from their retina is to go in and dissect free that peripheral vitreous from the macular vitreous. So I'm going around 360 degrees with the high speed 25 gauge cutter and I'm simply just trimming that vitreous and creating separation once again between the peripheral vitreous and the posterior vitreous. Once I have that achieved now I can focus on the macular area and you can see here what I'm doing is I'm very carefully trying to get down to the macular surface uh, so that I can see what's going on through this dehemoglobinized blood. The blood's actually doing me a little bit of a favor here as it's highlighting the vitreous so I can see what I'm working with versus some cases where you actually are just seeing more of uh, uh, the transparent vitreous. Now I'm segmenting and what I really love about the high speed cutter is the fact that there's virtually no traction yet it has the ability to pull in this fibrotic tissue. And I like segmentation a lot. And so I'll usually try to find planes where I can segment, uh, and then I'll try to lift up and create new planes to segment. You can see I've eliminated a lot of the traction here, and I'm just segmenting some of these uh, vitreous bands between these fibrotic stalks of neovascularization. We do have a bit of a macular fold here from this chronic traction. And I'm just trying to alleviate all the vitreous traction. Here's another case of segmentation where this bevel cutter really comes in advantageous to be able to get in these very tight planes. And then I'll simply let the cutter do the work for me. And you can see here, it just will magically pull in some of this fibrotic tissue and trim it off just beautifully, sparing the underlying retinal vasculature. Uh, I do keep my pressure up sometimes if I see any kind of hemorrhaging and I always like to diathermize very promptly. This is another example of where it just simply erases that uh, fibrotic uh, vitreous material, sparing the underlying blood vessels. And now I can finally get back to this optic disc neovascular tissue and trim it off and trim it out to the periphery. I try to eliminate any kind of vascular stalks uh, because diathermizing over the optic nerve head can be a little bit dangerous as far as that goes. You should avoid that. And then good peripheral PRP laser, 360 degrees. And I oftentimes will leave these patients under air. Thank you so much for watching.